Hello there and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we're starting a new series for the channel in Star Wars Empire at War Forces of Corruption. So this is a mod called the New Jedi Order Compilation Mod. It is actually a mod for a mod. So this is a sub-mod for Thrawn's Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.1, uh, which basically means that the creator, LEGO Star Wars EU, took the Imperial Civil War 2.1 version and basically used that as a base uh, along with other assets from different Empire at War mods to build a Yuuzhan Vong War New Jedi Order era mod. Uh, so uh, LEGO Star Wars EU, the creator, came to me a couple weeks ago and asked if I would be interested in a preview copy for the channel. I said, sure. Uh, so we're going to give this a try, play through it a bit, and uh, see how we do. Uh, I haven't done too much in the mod uh, yet. I just spent probably 10 minutes going through trying to see uh, some of the different stuff there. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to play as the Yuuzhan Vong. There's a couple different Galactic Conquest scenarios we have to choose from here. Uh, I've decided we're going to play the Dark Tide Galactic Conquest, 25 ABY. It's 38 systems, so I felt like that was a good enough amount to get a general feel for the mod, and then later we can do uh, some of the other ones as some of the other factions, or maybe as Yuuzhan Vong. I'm just not sure uh, how many ground forces, especially the Yuuzhan Vong, have. So uh, I didn't want to go, like, too over the top with one of the bigger ones, because this is... Uh, this is actually a preview copy, so there's probably still some stuff uh, to be done there as well. But yeah, so we are going to play Dark Tide. The Outer Rim is bracing for another assault from the Yuuzhan Vong. New Republic forces on the Rim are desperately trying to defend vast numbers of refugees fleeing the conflict while securing an alliance with the remnants of the Empire. Uh, so we're going to play on Admiral, as we usually do, as the Yuuzhan Vong. 25, okay, that's all good, yes. Uh, before we get started, though, well, this episode is going up as a regular episode, uh, on Wednesday night, I'll be live streaming the recording of episodes two and three. Uh, that'll be done on our Twitch channel. So that's twitch.tv slash Corey Loses. There's a link in the description. Uh, and again, if you can't catch the live recording or you don't want to, you'd rather just watch the episodes, they'll be going up on the channel on, I believe, Thursday and Friday. So whichever you prefer, uh, just options are there. So let's get started. And if that seems like an interesting way to do it, we'll probably do more streaming of the different playthroughs. But anyways... We're in here, Dark Tide. I fight for the honor of the Yuuzhan Vong in Domain Shai. Yep, you always have to go with the very raspy voice for aliens. That's how you know they're aliens. But while the New Republic forces of the Outer Rim succeeded in turning back a sizable enemy invasion, it's clear now that the forces on Helska IV, which destroyed Sinpidal and killed Chewbacca, were a mere advance guard for the Yuuzhan Vong. The New Republic government under Borsk Felia refuses to acknowledge the reality of the threat, but, the honorable, but honorable New Republic military leaders and the Jedi see the danger and are acting to protect vast fleets of refugee ships now fleeing the edge of the Outer Rim. Their effort takes place along the border of recognized Imperial space, and Grand Admiral Pelion has signaled his willingness to meet an emissary of the New Republic to discuss terms for an alliance. Former Chief of State Leia Organa Solo must travel to the Empire as soon as possible to try and secure their aid before more worlds fall to the invaders. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just pause here. And we get a... Okay, New Republic is a little bit under us in power. We're a little bit more powerful, military. I think that's all the heroes there. They have more planets than us, though. Tech trees classified. Um, all right, so we'll just take a look at our build bar. Oh, look. Okay, so we got some Mandalorians down here. Is that not Manor? Yes. Action Intent Case, an executor affiliated with the Intent Case, Na Manor is an advanced agent of the Yuuzhan Vong who has spread chaos throughout the galaxy. He manipulated the Imperial Ruling Council, contributing uh, contributing to its downfall and inciting conflict between Osari and Aramamul to distract the New Republic's attention. He's a skilled spy, able to travel freely throughout the galaxy. To enable this, he does not travel in Yuuzhan Vong craft, but in an innocuous shuttle. Uh, so let's have his innocuous shuttle. And... What are we going to get on the ground here? I'm going to try to secure some of this territory so the New Republic doesn't just take it from us. Uh, what do we got, though? Shrine of Yanmampa, Yanyamka. This Yuuzhan Vong barracks trains Chazrak soldiers and Yuuzhan Vong warriors. That sounds like what we want. Biotech structure provides access to Yuuzhan Vong war beasts and siege creatures. Let's get that as well. York at base, access to atmospheric York at variants, and York Kakaga gunship analog. Okay, so we'll do that too. And we'll get, uh, this seems like a spy drone, so no, pursue a ship, get one of those. 
uh, Umfala, Umfal. Let's get one of those and one of those. You know what? Do I want to do that over here? Yeah, I think I do, because we can probably uh, use these forces already for stuff. So I'm going to consolidate all of them. So yeah, so since this is a sub-mod for Thrawn's Revenge, uh, I'm not involved in it in any way. So any questions you may have, you there will be a link in the description to the mod database profile for the mod. Uh, so that it might be a better place to ask any questions. If you do want to post them in the comments, uh, I don't know if the creator will be checking them, but might be able to try that as well. Uh, and I'll do my best to answer what I do know. But uh, again, I don't have a huge amount of experience with this sub -mod, So Poor Chewie. Okay, let's go to Destrillion. Rendezvous point control change from neutral to Republic. I'll use some of these long ships in battle. All right, just a station, but good starting place for us. Destrillion was a planet in the Debrillian system of the Outer Rim Territories, in close proximity to Debrillian and the asteroids of Lando's Folly. It was a barren world with a turbulent atmosphere, and appeared brown and dirty from space. In 3 ABY, during the Galactic Civil War, Rogue Squadron was sent there to search for an Imperial Research Facility and encountered a vast force of TIE Hunters. 21 years later, when Lando Calrissian came to Debrillian to find a new way to mine asteroids, he built several ore processing plants in the upper atmosphere of nearby Destrillion. Uh, so I'm also, I played around with some audio settings from my microphone before starting this recording. Uh, so hopefully it's an improvement. If it's a downgrade, then I apologize for that. And uh, I'll catch in editing, but I did some test recordings and it seemed to be okay. Uh, but we'll go back to how it was before if it is a problem. So, yeah. See, got to use the raspy voice VOs. These are coral skippers. And Enemy Shido Shai. Okay, you have a Court Shock. A Grand Cruiser. I believe these are mostly evil Jedi models. I think a lot of the other, like, New Republic models are, like, a large mod. So. And I think this is from the Vong Invaders expansion mod. I'm not 100% sure on that. Because I do believe that he was offered some of those, but I'm not sure which are in or not. But I'm not I'm not 100% sure on the sources for a lot of them. Alright, but we got the station. Not a huge fleet for us to kill yet. I'm sure we'll come across one. I am kind of curious what they do have on ground. I lost some coral skippers. It's a sad time. I believe the Vong model itself, like the the Amphistaff Vong here, is actually our model. Because uh, we, we did have, for years, a Yuzon Vong model sitting in the files that we made. Uh, we just never really needed it for anything yet. So it has not been used yet. All right, so we're kind of lacking in... Uh, is this level 2... Station, I think, maybe. Alright, well, let's see what the ground forces are like. Is that the fire breather? It is. Invasion commencing. Uh, is this it? I'm not sure. It looks like it. I think it is. We've secured a landing zone. Alright, this scene... This might be our old jabbing map? Oh god, that's... Ah! Scotland are wrong. Okay, well, let's uh, see if we can get some coral skippers down here. 
Why is it going sideways? We've secured a landing zone. In route. We've located the enemy. Moving to coordinates at maximum Moving out. capacity. Melee units are generally hard. Uh, you can give them Yoda's Berserk ability, and then they're generally a little bit easier to use on ground. Even a nerfed ability. Because otherwise they just get so kited. Alright. Let's go. What else do you got here? I think it's probably easiest to just do, uh... Oh, what are you? Planetary HQ. If we send them back and forth, then they're gonna have better firing arcs for us. Rather than... Because air units in the AW are kind of weird, too. Where it's like they'll just float around and be... Unable to attack stuff. after them see they're they're just floating around and they're not able to attack it so you usually gotta send them away then send them back and send them away and then send them back and then also send them away and send them back otherwise they end up typically not coming out of their firing range there we go Okay, there's actually still something left. Where, though? Are they gonna retreat? Nope. There they are. First planet. Really wish I could use music in EAW. System control achieved. Seize this trillion. Get the small ship womb, and I'm gonna get Vonok building some ground stuff for us as well. Get the shrines there, and Gri, I'll get the mines there. There's a mine there. What's this? Still a missile mine. Repair crib. All right, I'm gonna send you down to Bimiel, this fleet. Some Mandalorian ships in it. Uh, I'm not super familiar with like the early parts of the Yuuzhan Vong War. Uh, I'm not sure what the v if there was Tactical that connection. Like I read most of the later books, and I've also read most of the Wikipedia articles on it, but We've been paid. it's We've still been paid. an area where I have a few more gaps in knowledge. So, this seems like it's just another shipyard okay. planet. Or a, another planet with just a shipyard, I mean, rather than shipyard planet per se. So we shouldn't have too much trouble with this. It's a small freighter coming out of there. Some K-Wings, I don't think they'll be a problem for us. Maybe a little bit. Good. We're ready to fight. En route. Moving out. Moving to destination. Move as long as we're paid. I'm more concerned about... Yeah, those, those guys are actually doing a lot of damage to our ships. Did we shred those K-Wings? We did. Almost lost uh, a Rogue Chanmar. So those fighters did a lot more damage than I was expecting. Alright, Hangar Defense Station and Light Shipyard. I don't remember seeing the Hangar Defense Station. But let's get in. We'll bring some Mandalorians with them. Sure. And I'm going to send this fleet over and into uh, Dubrillion. Tactical 
Where are you, New Republic fleet? A lot of asteroids. Okay, so we'll send in... Oh, hold on. What are you? Belt Runner 1. Belt Runner 1 was originally constructed as an asteroid mining base, but Lando Calrissian has refurbished the station to serve as a control center for the vast and brilliant obstacle course known as Lando's Folly. The station serves as home base for the range of heavily modified starfighters that are equipped with strong shields to run the belt. The station has powerful shields but light armaments. Okay, so it sounds like a job for Shido. It might not be a job for Shido. That is Shido Shai, right? Yeah. Shido? Shidoa? I've always called him Shido Shai. Uh, why? My legacy of Torment is not being able to fit that shit. Uh, let's send in Daropa. Can we? No. All right, Metalox then. I think these are Metalox. No advanced scout ship. Never mind. Let's see if we can take these guys out with uh, a smaller ship. Then we'll send in Legacy of Torment and uh, the Daropa against the station over there. Uglies. Tie wings, I think those things are. I'm not I've never been good with the, the ugly names. Okay, you can go in over there and Legacy of Torment. Go over there. You are taking a lot of damage. I'm not even sure what you're doing to anything, though. Before you die, I'm just going to read. These vast transports house legions of views on Vong and convey most of the population between galaxies. Large population boot. Okay, so that's my fault. Rip. Should have read the tooltip. Well, there goes most of their species. That's my point. I mean, they're on Vong, so I don't actually care. They like dying. As for... Like, that might be a little bit of a misrepresentation of them, but we're going to go with it. Uh, what can we build space-wise? Space-wise, space-wise, space-wise... It's our highest ship boom and bulk down. Tactical battle imminent. Oh, we got some more friends here. We got Captain Rimson with a VSD-1 Karuska Fire, and we have Ulu Ilor with Karuska Rainbow. The Karuskas are staying together. It's kind of weird playing something that is, in a lot of ways, 2.1. Even though it does have a lot of changes, it's still built off of 2.1, so it's like... It's kind of weird. Uh, Midoroic. You're an actual ship. Just gotta make sure that these transports don't die. Much like that other giant one. The enemy has been spotted! Yeah. No. One of you is going to protect that. 
The rest of you are gonna go and kill. There we are. A lot of the Vong ships feel pretty flimsy. So I think it's more gotta overwhelm them, take their stuff out quickly. I hope you don't die. I'm not sure why they decided to attack us. Actually, I might know why they decided to attack us. I'll have to check something in the files afterwards. Normally, I don't check too much in the files when uh, I'm playing mods that aren't uh, Thrawn's Revenge previews, but with this I generally have a better idea of how some of the stuff works, so I might look into that. Alright, there's the first New Republic fleet down. Captain Rimson and Yuela Isor Yuela Yuela is dead. Oh, Bamiel. Yeah, okay, I think I know... I think it's the same attack loops that happened in 2.2.1. Or 2.1.5. Actually, I don't think they happened in 2.1.5. I think they just happened in 2.1. Because we figured out what happened with it a while ago. So, I'll check that between it. And if, it, if I'm right about that, then I'll just send... Uh, Lego a message. Enemy unit sighted. So basically we used to have an issue where uh, instead of getting attacked by a large fleet in Thrawn's Revenge, you'd get attacked by a series of tiny pointless fleets, and it was more annoying than threatening. Uh, and this was because at some point in the pathfinding, the game was dividing by zero, so the, the fleets didn't really know when they'd be getting anywhere, because usually the AI is sending multiple fleets to converge on a place at once. Uh, but because of the way the, tr the trade routes were set up, the, uh, the bonus speed from the, the travel routes was set to 0.0, because we thought it was additive at one point, I think. But it's multiplicative, so you're making this, the effective speed zero, and at some point that then divides by zero, and it it Invasion causes connected. issues. So uh, that's why it doesn't work that way in 2.2 anymore, but I think that might have been left in for this some mod. Uh, so I'll, I'll check and see if that's the case. Because that would explain why that double Away attack just orders. happened, rather than those guys coming as one. No, I guess uh, one of you should Ready. probably go Moving back out. here. Yes, sir. We've secured a landing zone. We've secured a landing zone. Moving to you can see the Empire of the Hand insignia Roger. when they're capturing it too. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all capture the RP. We've and land us some use on them. Alright. Uh, Coral Skippers, you want to go and shoot some stuff for us, please? And thank you. Look, sir, it's them. It is them. Oh, God. They have turbo lasers. Is our fire breathy beastie dude gonna be enough for those turbo lasers? We don't have a bombing run. I have no idea what the balance is for any of this stuff. So much like with the giant thing that I got destroyed in that battle, expect to see me get other giant things destroyed in this battle. I wonder what the damage is on that. Oh well. Reporting in. Roger that. Is that going to be able to shoot? No, I don't Squad, think so. Can out. you guys run in? Form up. Right away, sir. 
Which one oh, has... Wait, Copy. Crap, that's the one I wanted to... Okay, so that has perfect accuracy. Can you guys get in just under it then? Well, you outrange it. And you do a ton of damage. Order acknowledged. I'm fine with that then. Let's do it that way. Are these from um, Rotom? I think so. Rise of the Mandalorians, yes, first mod. Life and hyphen hyphen. Gotta get some shots off and turn around. Just want to make sure they don't go in range of the uh, other turbulence. There we go. So what else is here? Is that just a louder Ewok projectile collision effect? Makes sense, because they're shooting asteroids, but that's cool. There we go. Okay, let's go for one more space battle here. Let's go to Q-Trick. Actually, maybe a little bit more than that. I'm using, uh, so I usually use OBS, but uh, Streamlabs, which is a site that has a bunch of like extra streaming stuff, came out with a version of OBS uh, with some extra integrated features. So I've been trying to use that. But the problem is, unlike regular OBS, it doesn't seem to have an indicator of how long you've been recording, which I've always found oh, useful man, because I like to know how long I've been recording. We'll get there I think can. I started at 125, but I don't know. We'll be there. That shouldn't be too hard. Understood, it's your payroll. Alright, um... We can do that. Inbound. There does appear to be a larger ship here, so that's... The way is clear. We're moving we'll see out. how our mid -Royk does against it. I see no problem with that. See, this guy agrees. Knows what's up. If we have to, we can get there quickly Double enough. Oh, that box is attacking us. Received as fast as we can. We're heading out. Moving to coordinates. We'll get there as soon as we can. Gunship weapons are online. Ready for action. Hey, right, keep taking out their fighters, I guess, and. We've oh, been here for right. hours. What's the deal? I might want the bigger fleet for this. Yeah. These are quite fragile. There doesn't seem to be any actual representation of the of the Davin basils. So that might be why they're a little bit uh, a little bit flimsier. We actually thought of a way to do that uh, if we ever did do Vong and TR. Alright. Uh, do we want to go back in at Q Trick or do we want to go more. You know what? We might just be better off going for Dubrillion or Dantooine. Let's go for Dantooine and then we can go to Dubrillion uh, and then during the stream at some point we'll go for. Uh, q -trick. Let's check the history tab here. Military. New Republic is actually building a lot faster than us. A lot more than us. I'm going to build more mines. I'm not sure if they're limited the same way they are in 2.2. I doubt it. Tactical battle imminent. Oh, that's actually a lot of stuff too. But we've got a bigger fleet for this. 
And I'm starting to get more of a feel for what the ships are actually going to do. No Pathfinder. That sucks. All right, uh, so we'll try to have the fleet come together a little bit more in the middle. Go full on Malcolm mode. Incoming. Where are Crusaders' weapons are charged and get you on this side because they seem to be going around to that side. Um. Seem to be missing a texture for whichever this is. The Balrus. There's. Is this a freighter? A couple more warships over on this side. They don't seem to have anything super. super powerful. So I think we're okay then. Gunship weapons are online. Yeah, no no huge warships, just the uh just the assault frigate, which isn't gonna be hard for us to take over. So Shy, get over there. These are Dovin Basil. Okay, so the way that Dovin Basils are represented in this would just be the shield leech then. Who are you? What are those? Slasher. Gunship analog often used as personal transport by using long commanders, agents, and leaving. It's just large enough to carry a small unit of squirrel skippers. So it's a tiny carrier. Evac ship. A transport loaded with refugees. This provides plus two population from survivors willing to aid in the war effort. You guys go over there. Kind of afraid of Shy getting hit. That Golan seems to put out a lot of damage. A lot of projectiles. Actually, I think it's just uh, not the reduced number that 2.2 had, so that's why it just seems like a lot to me. Because we did cut those back a lot. Weapons are charged and Perfect. We're going to go a little bit further over this side, and Shido can go a little bit farther that side, too. Okay, everyone go for the goal. Line. No, oh, you're turning around. Oh well. I think we've got enough firepower here that it's not going to be an issue. What are you? Man, scout ship. Uh, the rest of you can now focus on the assault frigate. All right, so that is Dantooine taken out. I wonder how much of their military power on that graph was just uh, from the shuttles as we well, though. Victorious. So I'll have to check that. Lost a Crusader, an advanced scout ship, an Umaflaw, and a Yorikat. Let's see. Nope, that's not the button I wanted. This is the button I wanted. All right, so they're still going up quite a bit. Uh... Cern Pidal is going to eventually become a shipyard. Maybe Vector Prime's. Yeah, Vector Prime's probably a better one to do for that. Uh, but we'll start getting our ground forces ready to go in on Dantooine. They're going to be on Dantooine. And... Oh, that's uh, that's not connected to anything. So if we just go out to the end of Olshaw, 
then that's going to be secure for us. So maybe that... Hmm. Well, I do also want to start getting these forces together to go into uh, Taurus. But in the meantime, let's also build up towards more uh, Shripspa, which are our mine analogs. But that is probably going to do it for today. So like I said at the start of the video, if you want to see the second and third episodes of this playthrough uh, as they're recorded live, That'll happen on Wednesday night at 5 p.m. EST on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Loses. There is a link in the description. Uh, but hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. It's, you know, it's been uh, fun so far for me. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye.